welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. This is Sam Utari, of course. And I had a bad day at work. <laughs> so I have a cup of cappuccino, and I'm feeling like we should take it out on some monsters. Um, so we already missed out on the lottery just because that was the sale that we did last time. But let's see what we actually have available. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to turn in my optional quest. Alright, what do we want? Golden spirit bug, large monster hunting. Because I want the monster bones. Alright, so we only have to do two more before we get our next urgent quest. So we're going to go ahead and do Toby, to Toby Kodachi. And then probably Viserios, just because I don't want to mess with Volvodon just yet. So we're going to go ahead and start with Toby Kodachi. Be careful out there. And then we'll see what our next urgent quest is and we'll kind of go just go from there. So we're going to go ahead and eat. <clears throat> but yeah, if you've ever had a day at work where you just like you're just so ready for it to be over and you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna go home and relax. That's that's pretty much the day that I'm having today. So it's a little bit stressful. Um, you know, just nothing that I can't handle or anything. But I'm definitely glad that it's over and I'm looking forward to getting into bed. Um, but at the same time, I just wanna decompress a little bit and I felt like Monster Hunter is the best way to do that. So now that we've eaten, let's just go ahead and depart. A flying shadow stalking through the night. Silent as the wind with eyes shining bright. Always craving blood, lightning running through its fur. When it swoops down on its prey, all becomes a blur. Alright. Toby Kodachi is another one of those like really really cool designs to me, only because I love the, the like flying squirrel aspect of it. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Poison kunai. Interesting. But we're not going to need that. Um, but yeah, I just always thought like the idea of the um, the flying squirrel aspect is really, really neat. Because I honestly just don't see it used a lot in like monster, like, I guess monster designs. Let me see. I bet you there's something up there. Can I actually go up this wall? Oh my gosh, I can. Oh, and there's a jewel lily. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, I just don't really see, like, a lot of flying squirrel stuff. At least, like, I don't feel like I do. Maybe maybe there is some stuff, and maybe I just kind of, like, missed it. But I don't know. I'm, pr I'm pretty confident that, uh... Nice. I'm pretty confident that, uh... I don't see it very, very often. Or used very often, I should say. I wonder how far up this thing we can get. Um, <clears throat> so I am just kind of wandering around again, sorry. Sometimes, like, I'll get these, like, bursts of, like, oh my gosh, like, I know where this relic record is. Like, I just suddenly remember, and then I'm like, I have to go get it. Um, and this was just one of those things where I was reminded where some of them were in my head, and I was like, oh my gosh! I was like, I feel like there's a thing! Um, and every time we get a couple of them, the merchant does give you, like, a statue for your room. And, like, I love collecting stuff in games, especially when I can decorate my house. So, like, I don't know. I just, I was just so excited to uh, get more relic records. There's actually one. Oh, I don't want this shit. Put that down. Um, there's, uh, there's actually one that I really want to get, which is right at the top of the temple. Um, I could get it now. Um, excuse me, monsters. Um, I could get it now if I really, really wanted to, uh, just because it's not, like, hard to get, per se. Oh, there's our monster. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not. <laughs> My character's like, I found our target! He's not even minding me. He's like, oh man, whatever. Um, but I do fight Toby Kodachi quite a lot in Monster Hunter now. Um, I'm really, like, growing fond of those, uh, fond of the app. Um, so the story mode to it is really, really simple. You're essentially just investigating, like, bright lights in the sky. So it's not like you're doing anything, like, crazy. Um, it's not like a deep story or anything. There's not anything that's interesting, like, rise or anything like that. Um, 
But with that being said, um, I do like that you have to, like, complete, like, a sort of, like, quest to kind of unlock, like, new monsters to fight. And that they actually are, like, you can see that they are uh, uh, upping the difficulty. Oh. Um, nice. But you can definitely tell that they do up the difficulty, even if the monsters are, like, two star, one star, whatever. Um, oh, there's a Bishotten. Hi, Bishotten. Are you guys gonna have a turf war? Nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, I would hope that Bishotten is, like, I guess, like, faster than Toby Gadachi, but I'm guessing not, especially considering the lightning damage. It just doesn't seem like he is, which is kind of, like, sad. But Toby Kodachi, I guess, is based off of Squirrel, which would make him kind of, like, agile, I suppose. There we go. Mounted Punisher. And then, once I can mount Toby Kodachi, then I can just run him into a whole bunch of walls. Meanwhile, I have all these nice materials that I can pick up, which will be useful in crafting later. Ow! Shotten, I thought we had a thing. I thought we were partners in crime. This is gonna hurt. But no, I do need to take a day where I can just go and find all the relic records again, but... I don't know, some of them I dread getting just because they are just so... picky. Like, they're just not pleasant to get by any means. Like, they're just not fun. And I mean, I've gotten some of the hardest ones thus far, but I don't know, at the same time, like, the thought of doing some of them again, I know that there's two here that I haven't got yet. There's one that's like a, at a secret spot atop the waterfall, but trying to get atop the waterfall is just such a pain, um, because you can easily, like, overshoot things. So, that's kind of like what bugs me with that. Um, but yeah, so overshooting the waterfall is always annoying, so there's that. Um, but outside of overshooting the waterfall, um, another one, like I said, is at the top of the temple, and while it's not hard to get, it's more just annoying, um, just because the amount of stamina you need, we would have to, I'd have to grab, like, an energy drink, um, just in case. Ooh, another wire bug. Let me put down my thing while he's roaring and throwing his little hissy fit. Thanks. I'll create hmm. a diversion. There, go after the, the toad. Go after the, the, um, the, there you go, the fishy. Ooh, nice. Broken parts already, huh? Oh, I broke part of his tail, nice. Some monsters, I wonder if you can actually cut their tail off. I know, I know, like most of them, you can, but I always wondered, like, if it was possible to do that with all the monsters, or if there's just some where you just cannot cut off their tail for whatever reason. Because there's some monsters that don't really look like they have much of a tail, anyways. And I know that there's some that have like better parts. Like, I guess, like, uh, for Kulu Yaku, I guess, like, his the most prized thing he has is like his mane or whatever. Um, which is the crown of feathers on his head. Wonderful work, my friend. So I would assume, I would assume that uh, that that would be what you want to break. And even though you don't like carve it individually, I would assume that that's just like what you want to get. So. But like I said, that's just kind of like an assumption. I'm really not like a monster hunter expert by any means. So, like, obviously don't take my words for verbatim. There we go. And Spirit Blade. Nice, knocked him right in the face. Nice, dodged around that roar, too. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. Didn't even have to drink 
that med. I just accidentally did it. My bad. I forgot my my weapon sheathes automatically after certain attacks. I'll help myself. Thank you. Oh man, that would suck if I was carving the Toby Kodachi and then I accidentally grabbed the wire bug and it just like shot me off. <laughs> I had to find my way all the way back to my kill. Sorry, but duty calls. But no, like this is a really cool monster. It's like a snake raptor, you know, flying squirrel thingy majig. So I think it's pretty neat, like as far as like monsters go. Cool. Cool. Anyways. Where's this great wire bug? Take me anyways. I still have to find the other sub camp to this place as well, so I mean we'll eventually do that as well, but I kinda forget where they are, because honestly, like, I just haven't really done these or looked for the sub camps in so long. So I'm not really sure where they all are at this moment in time. But I'll find them eventually. Same with the relic records. Good job, my friend. Oh yeah, and for those that were wondering about the uh, dragon that I send out instead of the Kohoot, the dragon is a skin for a co for the Kohoot that you can get on the Steam store. I don't know if the Switch version has it or not, because here's the thing. I was looking at the event quest the other day, because I really wanted to do the Sonic Heroes one, um, because on the Switch there was the Sonic Heroes one, or Sonic Generations, I don't know. It was one of the Sonic games. And they had... Um, they had one of those um, event quests and you literally had to collect sonic rings and I just remember it was so fun it had the um, you know it had the uh, the sonic soundtrack and I don't know it was just kind of silly it just made me giggle you know and so I was like oh I'll do that on a video I think that'd be really fun I think it'd be pretty cute and then I realized I couldn't find it. Like, I could not find it in any of the event quest. I don't know if it's something I have to unlock later, or if the add-on content shows up at a later time, but I really don't think it does, because I was pretty new to playing uh, Monster Hunter when I unlocked it. And it gives you the silliest costume as well, and it gives you some Sonic figures. So I was kind of upset that I couldn't find it. Um, so I don't know if there's some things that are only Switch exclusive, um, versus Steam, or what. Because I know that I did the, um, event on the Switch, but I haven't been able to do it on Steam, so. Who knows? Um, so, even for the market stuff, I don't know if there's anything that's, like, Switch exclusive versus Steam and vice versa, so. Alright, we are going to hunt ourselves a Baserios. Baserios is extremely armored, and so Baserios is going to be a pain in the neck. Um, every monster that is super um, armored and also likes to hide underground is definitely one to contend with, but uh, we'll be alright. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this, so it is time to depart. In the darkness of the night... Fragrant blossoms bloom As bandits prowl out of sight A sudden resounding boom This is not the mountain's roar Do not be mistaken What seemed like rocks are rocks no more and as soon as they awaken, the monster shows its actual form. Both prey and earth are shaken. Sorry, I took so long to uh, turn my mic back on. I was uh, drinking my cappuccino. <laughs> Lar easy, easy large barrel bomb. You know what? Sure. I feel like that's gonna go terribly. Let's do it. So Baserios is currently underground in the caves, so that's gonna be a pain in the neck, but it is what it is. Um... Again, the volcano area is not really my favorite only because of the changing levels, but it's not really that bad. I like the aesthetic of the fire meets, uh, you know, the water, the, uh, the extremely hot versus something that looks extremely cold. I love the aesthetic of the place, but, uh, yeah, as far as traversing it, it's a freaking nightmare. Um, 
And again, this is another place where I have to find, uh, or no, I found both subcamps. Okay, never mind. So I don't need to find both subcamps, but uh, we do still have a lot of relic records here that I do not even begin to remember where they're at. I know that you can go pretty high up the volcano, and there's one that's, well, I was going to say pretty high up the volcano, even though I just said that. Um, well, I say you can go pretty high up the volcano, but actually now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't think you can go that high at all. But I know that there has to be one, like, somewhere high up on the volcano. I know I got the one close to the camp, the, our main camp. I know I got that. Um, I know that every once in a while there's, like, a weird, like, ledge they want you to, like, hop up on. Um, let's see. Is this as high as we can go? I don't remember. No? Ooh, an armor turtle. Give me that. Ugh, dogs. Please steer better. Or a turtle. We're gonna be using those a lot later when we fight bosses and stuff. Um, the big boss battles will always give you one of those turtles, which will essentially save you from, like, an insta-death, um, at times. And you will definitely want to use those to your advantage. Um, unfortunately, they can only be used once. They are one of, like, those OP items that you can't, like, spam and take too much advantage of. Which, I understand why. I mean, the bosses are meant to be challenging, so... Kind of just, like I said, I'm just seeing how far we can go up here. But I honestly think with this camp, I think the camp is the highest that we can go. No? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Anyways, I'll probably play around with it later. Like I said, I will, I will most likely just uh, end up looking it up. Because um, that's what I did on the Switch anyways. So... Oh, Basarios is moving. I should have been paying more attention. Oh, there! I see it! I see a Basarios! Basarios is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I like draconic designs. I like big monsters. I like the idea that it's meant to look like a uh, stone. Whoa. He's got a big old power for war. But, as you can see with the low damage... Oh, and the poison. Um, as you can see with the low damage... Um, Basarios has very few soft spots, so it's just one of those monsters where it's always good to have um, an elemental effectiveness. I would assume Blast is the best, and you can break apart Basarios' armor, um, which is nice. Now, the thing with Basarios is just because Basarios is big it does not mean that he's slow. Um, I think that's the thing that makes Monster Hunter kind of challenging at times, is you kind of just automatically assume that big, heavy monster means slow movements. But, yeah, Viserios is not slow. Um, and he's going to wreck the um, sharpness of my weapon. So the belly part seems to be the softest. Um, but I'm not really sure, again, what part I'm supposed to be hitting. Again, I'm not a monster hunter expert by any means, so... And the hitboxes can sometimes be uh, a little challenging. Because right there, it looked like I hit his knee, but to me that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So yeah, Basirios will kind of do this thing where he digs into the ground and can kind of swim through the ground um, as if he is underwater. Um, that's one of those things where I should probably- I should have mounted my Palamute, but at the same time, like, I just really didn't think about it. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way! Alright. Barrel bomb? Come over here. Okay. This is why I said it was gonna be horrible. I wanna use the barrel bomb, but also, like, I don't know, just fucking aiming it's horrid. There we go. Nice. Because first you gotta aim it, and then you gotta, like, freaking place your kunai, or grab your kunai. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's up to something! It's up to something. Ooh, that's a big old blast. I almost forgot. Alright, and he's gonna do his little swimmy thing again. Oh, I didn't hit it. 
Oh, oh. I hit it too soon, is what I should say. Anyways. Whoa. And like I said, he's also just wrecking my uh, weapon durability. So we did manage to break something. But yeah, these armored monsters are rough. Alright, his face seems to be a weak spot, still. It's not very comforting. Also, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna ride Viserys into. This pillar right here? Yeah! Oh, and it's destroyed too, nice! Woo! Nice, nice, nice. That is satisfying. Me missing that attack is not satisfying. This does not spark joy. Now eventually I do want to try like another weapon or something. Like I said, I was thinking about switching to hammer and like really trying hammer for this fight just because I feel like the big box would help. Ooh, that hyper beam though. I mean, isn't that what it reminds you of if you've ever played Pokemon? Like, doesn't it remind you of like a hyper beam? I could see some of these designs being Pokemon, like being evolutionary stuff. And like, this would be so cool. Like, can you imagine if Viserios was like part of like the Tyranitar line or something? Like, I don't know. I think that'd be really neat. Or if it was like some new fossil Pokemon. I don't know why I'm nerding out about Pokemon, but you know, anyways. And that's the thing, I would love to play like more of the classic games that I technically like, or that I usually play. Um, I'm still kind of new to PC gaming because I've always just been a console girl. And while I could, you know, get all the equipment, I guess, to record my stuff um, from console and then put it on to YouTube, I just find the process to be so difficult um, because I'm just not computer smart by any means. But I would love to, like, play Pokemon um, without having to use an emulator. I would love to just, uh, you know, play something like Animal Crossing or... You know, just something simple every once in a while um, that I can just chill with. <gasps> the tail, give it. Sorry, but duty calls. Do not use your hyper beam. No, just let me carve it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Our prey is tired. Time to strike is now. Well, I was trying to. However, um, his shell is very hard. Ugh. Leave me alone. Fly away or something. Run. Now's my chance. Well, I didn't mean you had to take me literally, but I mean, that's fine too. Alright, weapon is sharpened. We are ready to get back into it. Give me that belly. Whoa. You're done for. <clears throat> oh yeah, his face is super tender. Nice. Whoa. He starts drooling lava and I just get very uncomfortable. Like, I'm sure anybody would, but I also love how his face, like, freaking just starts to glow. Another thing I love is that if you cut off their tail, like, legit though, um, I mean, obviously his, uh, his distance to hip check you is a lot shorter, and so they actually take that into account. So it's not like, they're not, still not able to cheese that stuff. Let's see if I can pull off my special, special, my special thief. Can't even talk. My special sheave as I whack his kneecaps. Oh boy! What is that? Fire blight? Oh, disgusting. Thank you. I was like, man, I really hope my palico comes in clutch here with that freaking base of vitality. No! Gosh, Rajang has like triggered me when it comes to like furious blasts like that, like super hyper beam like attacks. Like Rajang has absolutely traumatized me in the worst possible way. Phew! Alright, 
so that was the Biserios hunt. That's honestly probably one of the longer hunts that we've done in a minute. Myself, Just because of the armor, so Biserios does take a longer time to take down. I really do wish that my weapon had a lot more sharpness because... Oh, I do hate having to freaking sharpen my weapon all the time, but that's something that we'll get into probably closer to Sunbreak when we're starting to get into blue and white levels of sharpness. So, but still, I mean, the last, the last, like, what? Well, not the last three hunts, but, I mean, two hunts from the last one, one hunt from this one, and, uh, we've managed to get tails off of monsters. I mean, that's pretty good for me. So that'll help us a lot when it comes to uh, opening up monster lines and uh, getting more equipment, so it's pretty exciting. Take a couple more sips of my uh, cappuccino before we get into our urgent quest. Poison sack. Gross. Alright. So we should be getting into our next urgent quest. I really hope it's not a rampage. Like, please. No. Ah, fuck. Sam Atari, the rampage has returned. And just as expected, Magnamalo's ugly face is among the horde. Luckily, Hammond's device was able to draw it away from the rampage and into a secret passage that leads into the shrine ruins. Oh. Ooh, I get to fight Magnamalo. This is it. This is our chance. Accept the urgent quest from Hanoa and take down that feed once and for all for the villagers and for Kimura. Oh, nice. I finally get to take down Magnamalo. Ooh, crystal cluster. Give. Fuck. Every time. Every time I want the crystal cluster, it has shown up twice, and I, I, and I want it, but you won't let me have it. Why? What, like, what is wrong? Oh shit! What is wrong with me? Uh, freaking not being able to have it. Uh, I don't even have it on the switch. Like, screw you, Kagiro. That's rude. If I had a gesture for you, I, I I would I would give you one. Hold on, hold on. Do I do I have a gesture for you? Freaking uh uh uh. You're a jerk. And I'm gonna kick your butt. You do not underestimate me. Exactly, and don't underestimate my need to collect everything in this freaking game. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm punch you in your stupid Wivirian face. Ready when you are. Anyways, that's probably enough of that. <laughs> I shouldn't be so mad. <laughs> Alright, we all knew it was coming and finally it's here. I just received the urgent quest to hunt down Magna Mallow. Everyone in the village will fend off the rampage. We'll make sure nothing gets in your way. Good, because I fucking hate the rampage. Hmm. It doesn't matter where you are or what monster you're fighting. The spirit of Kimura is with you always. Hmm. Phew, all this serious talk has really got my tummy rumbling. Yep. When all of this is over, let's celebrate with a monster-sized pile of bunny dongo. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. I have a special quest for you. All right. So now we get to fight Magnum Malo. Can't even get mad at that. Like I, I Come love again. fighting Magnum Malo. I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> I, I, Magnum Malo is a big old explodey boy. He hates me, and I hate him. So we're gonna go ahead and use our bunny dongo ticket, make sure we get them big, big numbers. And let me see what we have as far as weapons first before we even do anything. I wanna see what the Biserios line gives us. Biserios tree. So that's a fire, but Magnamalo's not gonna be affected by fire. Do I even have enough to. Okay. So in order to get Biserios, I had to do a long sword to get to the Baroth, to get to the Basarios. That's annoying. Huh. The Gigant Makra. I think that's what I actually had started doing. Haste makes waste. Mm, and its sharpness is, sharpness is kind of stupid anyways. What could I make that's currently better than what I have? I really just don't think there's, there's anything. 
that I can currently make. Yeah, because I don't have enough for a poison weapon. The bone stuff doesn't even have enough sharpness to really make it worth it. The Berioth tree would probably be my best bet, but I don't have a Berioth claw. The Rogi tree is too weak. The paralysis. Paralysis wouldn't even be worth it. Again, Bone Scythe is better, and it'll open up a couple other things like the Royal Ludroth tree. So maybe? Maybe? No problem. Okay. But I don't have enough for the Royal Ludroth stuff, and the sharpness wouldn't even be worth that. But if I upgraded it, it might be okay for the water elemental stuff. Oh, Death Stench Tree. Magnamallow is not a dragon type. Magnamallow, I think, is either blast or fire. So that wouldn't even be worth it either. Hmm. Gotcha. Alright, well, I guess I'm just kind of stuck with what I got for now. 150? Yeah. I mean, if that's the best that I can get, that's the best I can get, I guess. Well, crap. Are you foraging or upgrading? Alright, Toby Kadachi stuff. Obviously, none of these armors, despite how cool they may look, are actually going to do anything for me because I'm wearing the high rank armor currently. So, ready. yeah, I can't even upgrade it, so... Alright. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's all we can do. Um, I have all the items that I could want, so there's really nothing more to prepare for. So if that be the case, I mean, I guess all we can do is really just get into it and... Um, we're gonna go ahead and take on the Magnamallow quest, come up and And since we already ate, I mean, I guess all we can do is get ready and depart. A grudge towards all life, given form in flame. Stalks unsuspecting creatures. that it seeks to maim. Its prey turns round to face it, preferring a hero's death. Knowing that this purple fire will steal its final breath. Pray for its soul. For this creature of pure evil shall swallow the world whole. Magnamallow is so cool. Um, and I mean that. I think Magnamallow is just the neatest. When I first saw it, I was so intimidated by it. Um, it like legit scared me. I was like, because I was still new to Monster Hunter, and I was like, oh crap, this thing's gonna kick my butt. And it does, dude. Like, no joke. Like, this monster is hard. So like, um, I think back on the Sw Switch version, I just remember like this thing practically thrashing me around because it is so quick, and it has like such big explosive attacks. And then in higher ranks, it just becomes even more menacing. Like, Magna Mallow is amazing. Like, I really just want to meet whoever designed Magna Mallow and just shake their hand, Let's because I think it is just the coolest friends. monster. Um, I love its design, I love its coloring, I love how menacing it is, I love- I just love the intimidation factor, just mixed with just- that cool armor plating, like the gold with the purple and everything else, like, just so neat. And the purple fire, too. Like, I just, oh, man. I love it, but I hate it, if that makes any sense. Like, I love to look at it. I hate to fight it. But, yeah, look at that thing. Like, that is a massive, oh, massive monster. This thing is so neat. Anyways, let's chop it up now. There's the target! 
All right, so Magnum Aloe obviously follows the horde, um, and then it feeds off the, the, whoa, crap. No, get away, get away. Ugh. Okay, everything explodes. Oh, 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 stop. Um, but anyways, Magnum Aloe is like the end of solo play, um, essentially. Um, there's like a couple other things that we could do. Um, now, Magnum Allo, you can get Magnum Allo's tail off, and that is actually, like, one good strat um, for reducing the amount of... Reducing the amount of, like, explosive attacks it has, obviously, um, because everything is guided through its tail. So, um, getting Magnum Allo's tail is pretty important. However, I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish that. But yeah, Magnum Allo, um, especially in like later game, in high rank and master rank, is just absolutely punishing. Um, but I can't say that I've never had like no fun fighting it, just because I do like the challenge that Magnum Allo poses. Um, it's just, it is one of those fights that you, you know right away going into it, that you are just going to have a bad freaking time. Like just a bad, bad, bad time. Whoa. Um, yeah, so these purple clouds, they explode. They do big explodey things. And he moves very fast. Whoa. Ooh. And they're like, use your wire bug dash. And it's like, but I need to for the tail. Um. So if I am taking a lot of damage, it's because I'm specifically trying to go after the tail. And I'm trying not to use my wire bug dash. Whoa. Um, but yeah, obviously that's not really working out for me very well. But I do have my Palico, um, which should help me. So. Not only just with healing status effects, but also just healing in general. Are you ready? Whoa. Well, that didn't help me any. Alright, come over here. Whoa. I want to get away from that. Any last words? That's not tail. Whoa. Whoa. I remember- okay, so when his tail gets stuck, like, that is, like, the opportune time to try and fight Magnamello. But also this theme, though. Like, this theme always, like, sort of remind me of, like, an epic battle in Lion King. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like that was the vibe I got um, from it. But yeah, I always got like a Simba versus Scar like sort of thing, and I don't know why because I know that that's like not what it's supposed to be. But I don't know. That's just like always the vibe I got from it. <laughs> so I think you've had enough. Kind of ridiculous, but. Whoa. He knows I'm going for his tail too. He's like, yeah, nah, we ain't gonna do that, bro. No more holding back. But that's what I want. Just give me your damn tail. Ugh. Ugh. Nice. I don't know what my palico or palamute did in order to make that happen. Nice, we did it. Hell yeah. Whoa. Let's Whoa. For a while, I did actually think- I think I did use the Magnum Allo weapon as my main blast weapon. Um, I do think that that was the actual, like, weapon that I had for the longest time until I got Seething Basil Goose. And Seething Basil Goose- oh. Oops. And Seething Basil Goose, like, was the, uh weapon that I had for, like, the longest time. Or, no, it's the one I still use. What am I talking about? Magnum Allo was the one I had for the longest time. Seething Basil Goose is the one that I now use constantly for my main blast weapon. Which... I really wish that there was um, a better one for me to use, but currently there's just not. So Magnum Mallo probably will try to heal himself. I should probably mount up and then 
sharpen. Needs more polish. I would try to capture Magnamalo, and I could, but I mean, I don't know. I don't really need to. Alright. I felt like this was gonna be faster, but like part of me feels like it was not faster at all. So. But I'm also not gonna complain. Now, what did I do again to Dodge? Oh, his fire's back on his tail, so. So much for that. So, yeah, this might end up being a little bit of a shorter video just because I do believe this is the end of solo play until we reach uh, the multiplayer stuff. So Monster Hunter story is actually split into two, but we'll kind of go into that probably more after like the credits and stuff. Whoa. Sir, sir, I get that you're getting desperate. Um, oh, I don't, I don't, no, 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 get away from me, shit. <laughs> Oh, what did I do before in order to block with my weapon out? I did- Wonderful I ended up doing friend. something. I don't know what it was that I did in order to block. True! Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I know how to do that, believe it or not. Whoa. It's just, he big fast boy. He, he a big fast boy. Ugh. remember um, playing this like when I first was playing it because I was trying to beat the solo stuff on my own um, before really playing with Roto just to get a feel for it and honestly I couldn't put the game down and um, yeah after beating Magna Malo I was like oh man the story's really short so I wrote my first review Whoa. I wrote my first review for the game and I was like man the story was just so short and I don't understand the appeal and and then when I got into the uh, multiplayer stuff and realized that, um, well, when I uh, got into the multiplayer stuff and realized that uh, that was a continuation of the story, then I felt a lot better about it. Why did you put the soothing mist of vitality all the way over there? There's a big scary monster in my way. Thank you, though. Ooh. Ew. Nice. Alright, so Magna Mallow is down. Definitely easier than the first time I ever fought him, obviously, because I'm a bit more experienced now. But as you can see, if uh, basic Magna Mallow is that... Um, fun to fight, you know, that, uh, that fast, that powerful, then, uh, then yeah, the higher rank Magnum Allos are definitely a challenge as well. Um, but really fun fight. I, I do love this monster. Um, he's a beast and, uh, totally worth being one of the big baddies of the series, um, especially for the solo play. So, but yeah. No, that was that was that was good. That was much better than um, the first time I ever did it, and you know it's kind of neat to see how far I've come. But yeah, that is the end of Magna Malo. But is, is it completed. the end of the rampage? Dun dun dun.
Good job defeating Magnamalo, Kamura Hunter. You are what I call a true hero. <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> we heard you beat that Magnamalo! <laughs> Way to go! We've been thinking about what Elder Fugen told us. About what we could do to help protect everyone in the village. But all I can do is take care of buddies. And I can only prepare Dongo for you. But then, we figured that all the work Yori does actually makes your life a lot easier. And my delicious treats keep everyone happy and in good health. <laughs> and that... That's how we contribute to Kimura. Hmm. Fine answer. A new Kimura village had the brightest kids around. <laughs> <laughs> well now, I think it's time for me to get back to doing my part, don't you think? Right, me too. And me three! <laughs> okay, time for some new recipes! <laughs> I've been thinking of a Magnum all of I use some dark chocolate. <laughs> Sounds heavenly. Let us know what you think. I gotta say you did a great job, Hunter. Thank you. Take it. This thing's been passed down in Kimura for generations. You defeated Magnamalo, so now it's yours. Take it, will ya? I'm getting too old to be lugging this thing around. Go on. <laughs> I feel lighter already, kid. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, you may have defeated Magna Malo, but make no mistakes, far harder hunts are ahead. Speaking of which, Noah now has five-star quests ready for you now, so check them out as soon as you can. Listen here, Samutari, because of you, the fire of hope burns bright all through Kimura. Don't stop now. So now we got the hand-me-down sword. Blah, 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 blah. So let me see. Nice one, Samutari. Heard you got it, Samutari. Magna Malo, more like Magna Mild. <laughs> I don't know why I started laughing at that. It's so lame. And Hinoa's smiling more than ever. You're my hero. So as a sign of my thanks, I want to give you this armor. Uh, it's for a Kohoot, though. The rugged full suit completely neglects any sort of functionality in favor of style. Your Kohoot is going to love it. Come back later and I'll have some more armor ready that will blow your mind. Take care. All right. Does he normally give us Kohoot right. stuff? Oh. He's like, oh, did he give you the sword? Whoa, that thing's been given to the leader of Kimura for generations. Master says it holds untold power. It doesn't look like much to me, but if Master says so, who am I to disagree? Alright, so let's see this new hand-me-down line. There we go. The hand-me-down blade. 120, and it's fire. So that's actually not bad. We might actually have to, uh... Might have to, uh, work on upgrading that. So... Alright. I know I did use it there for a while, though. Alright, what you got? How's it going, Squirt? The fire for the hunt still burning bright within you? Good. Seems like you're not the only one. Feels like the whole village is fired up. Waha. Ahem. Guessing you're- you're- blah. Guessing you must have inspired them. Yeah. That also means they're more likely to hit a snag sooner. I hope that you're there to help them out when that happens. That said, we won't take your efforts for granted. I'll be giving you a special reward in return. I only ask that you make yourself available around town and lend a hand where you can. Alright, I already completed eight side quests, so... Well, I've heard you've been helping out around town. Kimura is like one big family, and when you help the people of Kimura, you're helping out all of Kimura. You remember that. Now about your reward. I've asked the smithies to offer you some equipment that reminds you of Kimura. Keep it up now. Nice. Oh yeah, the medium's garb and the channeler's garb. Ah, oh, Sam Atari, working hard as ever, I see. Are you making good use of the Buddy Plaza? People have a lot to offer. I'm hoping I can ask you to offer them one thing. Hire as many buddies as you can. Hmm. Plus, you'll be needing so many buddies as you can get your hands on. Different situations will call for different buddies, and that's a fact. And don't think your efforts will go unrewarded. Alright, hire 15 buddies. Nice. I already did that, too. That's what I call a buddy plaza. It's overflowing with buddies, and we're overflowing with gratitude. Don't think that I I've seen Iori this happy in ages. He's got his hand full with paws. Warms the heart, it really does. What's more is there's now some Kimura-themed buddy equipment all over the armory. Go check it out when you get the chance. All right. So he's just gonna have a bunch of quests for us. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. So we have a lot of quests. Um, there's a lot that has opened up now that we've beaten basically the, uh, it's a good the thing. But is it true? Can it be? You've really inherited Elder Fugan's sword? It is true. What an honor to be able to receive such a mythical weapon. Hmm? What will happen now that such a treasure has been bestowed upon you? Um, I don't think anything in particular will happen. Do you uh, feel incredible power coursing through your very being? No. Oh well. Elder Fugan did mention that he wanted to pass it on in the near future because it was super heavy. That's weird. Oh, maybe he meant heavy, heavy as in the weight of responsibility it carries, not physical weight. It all makes sense now. See, for us in the village, the sword is a powerful symbol that is only held by the true leader. Are you ready to be a leader? Are you ready to take on that responsibility? We'll see. For now, you have to settle for taking on these five-star quests. Alright. So, um, in future episodes, since this episode's already going on longer than what I expected, we're gonna go ahead and take on Volvadon, um, we will take on the Pookie Pookie, um, and then we'll get into our five-star quest, which has a whole bunch of new monsters for us to fight, um, the Nargakuga, which is really cool. Ooh, Zenogre. Zenogres are beast. I love Zenogre, though. Um, we could take on Zenogre and Janaf. Uh, um, ooh, Mizutsune, which is one of my favorites. And finally, we get to take on the Rathalos. Um, we have some dual quests, which I'll probably just do on my own. 
um, since they're a bit of a nuisance. And yeah, and then that will help us out. Myself. Now, obviously, this isn't technically the end of solo play. Um, I did say that I was going to explain that a little. We are nearing the end of solo play. We are almost done. Um, and eventually solo play does break off into the hub quests. Um, so I will try and just do the solo play first. That way, when we get into the hub quests, there's a bit more continuity there and things actually make sense. Um, originally, I was kind of disappointed when I thought that um, the solo play ended with Magnum Malo, um, and I did complain about that as one of my points of not liking um, like how the story was handled in Rise, but then when I realized that the story actually went on longer and then it continued through the hub quests, then I went back and I edited my review. Um, this was a long time ago. So the story does continue. We still have quite a lot to get through and then we have Sunbreak as well, which is even longer. But um, as you can see, the main story is actually pretty short. Um, it moves at a pretty quick pace. Um, and so it's something that you can casually blow through and most of your time is going to be spent with the hub quests, especially when it comes to grinding for monster pieces and equipment. But thank you all so much for joining me and fighting Magnum Malo. I hope you did enjoy. Um, and we will continue more Monster Hunter very, very soon. But thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like if you like these videos. Feel free to leave me a comment talking about Monster Hunter and your favorite things about Monster Hunter. And what ones are your favorite ones to fight. You know, things like that. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Alright, ciao you guys.